Good morning, goeiemorgen, Kiara, and to my South African friends down in Cape Town, away. Guys and girls, this is the first of a few daily um, 30 minutes with Jan. We're going to try and get you daily updates on what's happening throughout New Zealand, and we hope you'll give us updates on what's happening in South Africa. Um, I've just read, I'm busy reading the, the newspapers in South Africa, and I see the, the coronation virus has gone absolutely ballistic there currently. Um, this one newspaper said uh, about 10 days ago, we had five countries with the virus, said uh, Dr. Mashedi Mueti or something like that. Now 35 of the 54 countries have cases, with a total close to 650 cases. But um, I saw in the past 24 hours that uh, the South African cases has nearly doubled. So that's only the ones that they are testing. Uh, the, the, the sad part is um, I do believe that most of these cases will go unnoticed in South Africa and that they won't get tested in time for them to be a, a real reaction to that. <clears throat> in New Zealand, we're about 18 hours away from a full lockdown or what they call level four down here, which is a total lockdown. What will happen on, in lockdown is you're not allowed to really mingle with, you're not allowed to mingle with anybody, not really, you're not allowed to mingle with anybody. Major places like restaurants, bars, mm. Um, most of the, the, the non-essential places will be closed down totally. Uh, places that will be open will be your supermarkets that gives food. The doctors will be open. I'll tell you more about that now as well. Doctors will be open. All your medical services will be open. Essential jobs will be frontline personnel like doctors, um, pharmacists, um, uh, lorry drivers, um, guys working at Countdown. Uh, pack and save all these places. The guys that's physically packing the, the the racks in the night, people that are doing the the, the tolls and that type of things. That will be frontline personnel from now on. So keep that in mind when when you visit a pack down or a uh, supermarket. These guys are the frontline. They're the guys that mingle with with the other people that's got the virus that you don't even can see. So this is probably the worst thing about this virus. We were talking about this yesterday and saying. One of those things, you can't see the virus at all. It's it's easier to defend yourself against an enemy if you can see that coming. But I could sit with somebody next to me and you don't even know they have the virus. They couldn't even know they have the virus or I could have had the virus. So, um, so the people on the other side of the camera just sit about a meter away. So guys, that's... Um, that, that's what's happening in New Zealand this morning um, and from, from 12 o'clock to night, uh, all, all places that, that's non-essential. Um, I'm going for my last haircut for four weeks. We are going to close down for at least four weeks. What will this impact mean for South Africans when New Zealand close down? The bad thing is there's a lot of South Africans currently uh, caught up in this. People that's either in um, camper vans, people that are in Airbnbs, people that are waiting for, for their jobs, that type of thing, people that's uh, waiting for non-essential jobs, um, people that have found work that are still waiting for the, the work visas to come through. All these people are, are caught up in the middle of this and uh, I actually feel extremely sorry for you guys. I mean, this wasn't your fault, neither was it anybody else's fault, but um, this is something that, that you will have to ride out. I, I don't really know how most people will do that, but the presumption is that you're not allowed to travel between, let's say if you are in Rotorua, you're not allowed to go to the next county. If you're in Auckland, you're not allowed to drive down to Wellington. Um, most of the ferries that goes from Wellington to Picton has also been stopped. That's what I saw. I saw most most of the um, the Kiwi Rail, the, the the big rails that that run between places transporting people has been stopped as well. So that's that's a few things that that's currently happening down here. Um, essential services further goes on police. You know the normal stuff. Police, the firemen, these guys. They they need to be still there. Otherwise, the, land will, the country will totally collapse. The presumption is that the, that the army and I think the air force will, from tomorrow or tonight, will strengthen the police on the ground to see that these rules gets 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 adhered to. Um, the basis is of this all is you stay in your own house. You do not mingle. You're allowed to go for a walk. You're allowed to walk your dog if the need be, but do not stop on the street and talk to other people. I know. The, the feeling would be there to, to talk to somebody else. I mean, we, we're in a crisis mode and when, when South Africans 
on a crisis mode. We, we talk about this. We want to fix this thing. Don't do that. Steer clear two meters from the person walking his dog as well. So um, presumably you are allowed to walk on, on the beach as long as you mostly a deserted beach and you're all walking alone or just with the people of your close family. So there will be some, um, some challenges to this as well. Uh, the, the, the call was that there's not more than 100 people um, congregated and this was under, under the other levels, not even level 4. So how, what they are going to do with uh, supermarkets, I don't know, but you still will still be able to buy food. So, yeah, I know I've, I've, I'm one of the, the people who said don't go panic buying, but even myself, I have um, done some buying the past four weeks. I think we've been stocking up a bit on the past four weeks and we, we've taken it a bit to the next level where we have a lot of dry goods available to us. We have about a week's worth of... Um, of, of um, meat and about two weeks worth of, of fish then we'll go out to the boat again so if I've got extra I'll drop it down at your houses just don't come out <laughs> I'll just phone you afterwards and say there's some fish in your post box so um, but on, 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 a, on, a, on a less lighter note the guys that, that are caught into this um, I'm trying to find out the, the rules and regulations behind this more and more but there's no set of rules. This is the first time that New Zealand has ever gone into this type of panic mode. So the, the, the big problem is that flights have been really cancelled. Um, I see in areas like uh, the USA, that they started parking Boeings all over the place now, wingtip to wingtip for kilometers. Um, your, your normal flights are, are waiting there for whenever this, this virus has, has turned around and whenever this has gone on, um, whenever the, the world is starting to get better, which I doubt will happen very soon. I, I think the, the next four weeks will be the really, really hardcore to see what's going on, um, especially in New Zealand. I think the next four weeks will be the, the, the one place to, to wait and see what will happen. But after the four weeks, I think we could probably make a call to see if we can allow certain other countries in um, perhaps even six weeks down the line but the one problem is i doubt if africa will be allowed in very soon i think um, a lot of cases is in africa that's going unreported and, and, and i think that is the, the big concern of the world once this has taken hold of africa there's probably no turn around for that except when the virus comes to its natural end and that is in summertime and we know that africa is now going into a winter period Presumably this, this virus does not like heat, so yep, and New Zealand as well, we're going into, into winter, it's been co going colder and colder down here, so I don't think it's the most ideal time um, to be here with about the virus, so yeah, just keep that in mind, if, if, you, if you are in the hotter place, probably stay in the hotter place, I've got some friends down in Oman and places like that, where it's quite hot there, so probably the virus will be less effective there, or well, let's hope for that, so down in, in New Zealand, we've, we've started getting our winter rains. Um, sad to say, it looks like summer has gone away. Um, we have received good rains yesterday. We've received rains throughout the night. Yep, I, I don't know really what to tell you much more about that. But um, today we will see our last day that's on level 3. We actually only had level 3 about for 24 hours before we're going on to level 4. Level 4 is then total lockdown. So, But I'll, I'll be coming daily to you to get... Give you whatever um, information I can give you. So, give you an idea. Um, I needed to get some. Um, I've got a little skin rash down here, which I got from diving the other day with the dolphins or something in the wetsuit that irritated me. And it's got a few of these little sores. So, I needed something from the doctors because in New Zealand you can't really buy anything over the counter in, in the pharmacy. I actually phoned the doctors yesterday to try and make the appointment, and I thought, geez, it's got one day to do this um, find the doctors I answered and said no sorry you can't come in um, she said somebody will call me back and take my details and verify my phone number blah 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 and then she called about six o'clock the night to the last night uh, Dr. Moss called me and said he's Dr. Moss and I cannot see him because of the virus but what's wrong with me and I explained to him over the phone what the problem is with me and today he's going to send a uh, script down to the pharmacy which I gave him which pharmacy I want to see so 
gave it to the pharmacy today and this afternoon I will go and pick it up. So how the pharmacy is going to handle me when I come there and I do not have the virus that I know of and I will love to see that as well but I'll, I'll tell you about that tomorrow so that'll be an exercise of note for me and yeah the, the, the sad thing is uh, in New Zealand a lot of people have lost their jobs currently I've, I've spoken to about since Friday with about 12 people that have straight up just lost their job um, especially the, in, in the travel industry the travel industry is really hit hard they've um, they fired all the people at a certain travel agency everybody that's under a year there they've just fired them flat out that's it let it be there was no no three months payment or nothing like that they were just told first in first out or last in first out so sorry let me just get my tenses right there so yeah there are a lot of people currently in New Zealand that doesn't have um, have hope that we we hope for them and our hope for them must be that this virus uh, turns around quickly that we can reopen the country that we can get stuff moving again that we can get the non-essential businesses open again uh, from our side from JVFS guys we we're not going to close down we're not going to see you to face to face anymore but we have all the needed stuff um, I've got probably some of the fastest internet on the island available here and we are doing we actually started from Friday we started doing whatsapp video calls with people we've got the, the zoom function here to do uh, the type of um, video conferencing and I can even go onto the older platforms like Skype or so if you need to talk to me face to face it's no problem and don't don't hold back if you really feel you need need to, to talk to me even if you just need to talk to somebody even until last night at about nine o'clock I took calls for people who were worried not not worried about the life insurance not paying out life insurance will pay out that's one thing I can promise you if you should die with this virus um, which we hope we don't lose any customers on that but if if that would happen your life insurance will be paid out um, but if you just feel you need to talk to somebody you need to speak to somebody regarding what what's happening down here if you, if you are lonely out there just give me a call you have my number or send me a PM if you don't have my number get get hold of us let, let us let us talk this through I know being in, in self-isolation can be extremely lonely so Keep in mind, uh, Shomek has got a lot of Afrikaans stuff on. Um, you can have that without the VPN. I just I saw there was a bit of a discussion this morning about uh, the VPN called the Virtual Private Network, which um, if you've got a Virtual Private Network, it basically fools the, the host to think you're in a different country than where you really are. So people have used VPNs to show Shomex that in South Africa, if you do that, you get more if you show me is just open like mine you get less so not all of the the movies that South Africa is showing is allowed to, to be shown all over the world so that's one one thing you, you, you lose a bit if you don't have a virtual private network but a virtual private network costs more money as well even with Netflix presumably there is Afrikaans movies on Netflix um, for the guys in South Africa you guys can see that we do not have that function in New Zealand so once again uh, a fact that the the the, the host country um, does not allow everything to be shown outside so that's that's a few things to do while you are on on, on your um, confirmed isolation dahlia big thing is to stay safe a big thing is to, to take your time when you're going to the supermarket see that you don't get too near to people this virus is it looks like it's extremely transferable between between people and you never know who's got it so that's one of the bad things about this virus is there's no, you don't have a little thing on top of your head saying uh, watch out I'm, I've got the virus or you can't see that somebody has got blood running out of them ah oh, that's gross but you can't see the virus on somebody else so keep your distance keep safe stay safe um, any questions at this time please feel free to ask us um, we've stopped the candidate process um, sadly enough we had to stop that we, we can't give people um, we can't help people getting jobs in most of the places are closed um, it's a very 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 sad thing that, that did happen so you know, most of your, your non-essential places has closed down or is closing down tonight at 12 o'clock so for us to try and look work for somebody that's in their non-essential work um, although I do believe every work is, is very essential but uh, on government grounds most of the, the normal jobs that we could help people look for 
is actually non-essential. So we, we're sitting with that problem that we can't help you look for work, but there's nobody um, at those businesses. Neither would most of those businesses um, see foreigners anymore. That, that is, we found that over the last two weeks, they've started stopping people to come for interviews with them as they were afraid of the virus, which I fully understand it's their right to do that. Guys and girls, any, any questions here this morning, except that it's a windy day out here in Welcome Bay in Taranga. I don't know what the rest of the island looks like. Um, the figures this morning, let me just get you the figures this morning. That'll be something that, wait, that thing. It's the figures this morning for New Zealand. We're still on, on the, what was it, 204, something that we were on yesterday. It hasn't gone up much. Here's New Zealand, New Zealand there, 102, sorry, 102. I don't know um, when they do update this. Um, this is supposed to be a live site, so presuming we're on the live site, but we've, we've been 102 for the past 24 hours. I see that the South African figures have just basically doubled. They've gone up to 405 in my right way, South Africa. There's South Africa, 402 with 128 new cases. New Zealand hasn't shown any new cases in the last 24 hours, but I think after this morning, they probably will be. So remember, New Zealand would be a bit behind the time where well, South Africa could be a bit more on time if they do test all the right people there. That's the one problem we, we are we are worried about is the amount of people that are testing in South Africa. I know that New Zealand tested about 8,000 people already, so that is good figures that's coming in and about of, of, of the 8,000, 102 has been found positive. We've had no deaths so far, so thank let's that would Glad about that. No deaths yet in, in New Zealand about for the um, coronavirus, which is actually a good thing. And I think with this lockdown, we can really contain it. So it's all about you guys out there. Um, other thing this morning, all the markets have turned uh, blue. Or blue meaning they've made some gains um, after after yesterday. Let me see where the markets have had a tab open with the markets because I watch that every morning. Most of the markets went to blue except the Dow Jones and the S&P 500, which is the two American markets. They still ended up in the red at minus 4%, both of them. Most of the other markets have gains of about 5%, the CAC 40, the DAX 33%, the FTSE 0.76, the Hang Seng is up by 5%. But all over for the year, these markets are all down still. Some of them down as far as 30, 32%. The Dow Jones, the CAC 40, the DAX 30, and the FTSE all down in the 30s, and the Nikkei as well in the 30s. So these markets need, need to turn on overall for the year period. They need to turn to blue before I would even really say that the the economy has, has taken or yeah, is back on track. So that is, that is on the economic side. Um, not a lot more from me on that side. Um, I can't really give anybody any advice this morning. I see nobody's asking any questions. So presumably you guys know everything that needs to be known. Um, please take take care while you are out there. And if you see any of the posts that we have on, on the page, please go ahead and, and, and give us some of your insights in there. Um, I would also love to know how the South Africans is, is feeling about this. The guy's still back in South Africa. I've heard about some people down there that have sold everything that was on their way to the flights when it has been cancelled. So even in South Africa, there's, there's a lot of people stuck in limbo, to be, to be that, like that. Stuck in limbo that, that um, can't come because there's no any, not any more flights and nobody's allowed in the country here. Probably, if, if you are stuck in this way, probably the better country would be South Africa so that you have friends and family where you can stay over. It could have been hectic if you've been stuck in New Zealand, say, say for a month or two months, and you've got no income, and you have to be in an Airbnb or something like that. So, all right, guys and girls, from tomorrow morning, I believe there's probably a lot more going to watch me, because a lot of you is going to be sitting at home. To those with kids, um, do something constructive. We'll be thinking of ways that, uh, that to it help you entertain them. Um, that probably time to bond with your your partner as well um take some time and speak to the hubby speak to the wife and i know uh, when you're in this isolation like this it's probably not a good thing to be in each other's company for way too long but at this time you're going to be forced to be doing that so uh, on my side as i heard the wife has already booked me some um, garden time so she said i'm going to be out there in the garden a bit so yeah i'll do that as soon as the rain clears up 
being being the gardener um, in my own garden, that's probably not a bad way to, to spend a few days, but I think it can become boring as well. So uh, keep in mind if you walk past my house and you hear me speaking to or talking to the, the plants that I must be going cuckoos. It's just, it's just taking its toll then. All right, that's me. Um, I'm not going to try and keep you entertained for half an hour because I'll see you tomorrow morning, same time, same place. Guys and girls, my name is Jan Fleun. If you need any, any information regarding um, your insurances, get hold of me. If you need new insurances, I see there's a few quotes that came through at night. We're still going to operate as normal. We are still going to operate as normal. Our doors are closed to walk-ins. We're not going to see you face-to-face, -face, but we will see you via video, WhatsApp, Facebook Messenger, whatever way you need to contact us. Contact us. Send us your telephone number. We'll call you. That was the first time actually yesterday I found that the, the, the services was overloaded, as in totally overloaded. Um, uh, the local church in Tauranga also is not allowed to do any congregation. So we've, the local pastor down here, we've, we've arranged that he will do his service online, live, like I'm doing now. So I was trying to help him through the, through the setup procedures with that and then um, we couldn't phone each other. It was, the services was just totally overloaded and First time, first time ever in New Zealand that I found that anything was overloaded, but that lasted for about two hours. That was just after Jacinda made her, her call from level three to level four. So, now, so keep in mind tonight, 12 o'clock New Zealand time, Wednesday evening, they will be level four from going forward, or actually from Wednesday evening, 12 o'clock, yeah. So that'll be level four from there onwards forward going forward, and then we'll. I will speak to you tomorrow morning again, give you some more insight. And if you've got any questions on, on anything that's happening down here, ask us if you've got any things that you want to tell us about South Africa, please feel free to do that. Guys and girls, that's me. My name is Jan Fulhub. And I'll show you what it looks like outside this morning. Um, I'm all the way from Welcome Bay and I'm not an immigration officer. Please note that uh, any advice we give you will be solely based on the fact that we do sell insurance in New Zealand. On Friday, we've, we've arranged so far with Vanita to have a talk with us. Um, if Vanita wants to talk to us earlier, um, we'll bring her on the show because we're going to do daily like this now. So, all right. See you all. Stay good. Stay well. Stay one meter apart and wash your hands. Eh? Do good. A grim morning.